Well, although we usually grow vegetables to eat and enjoy, there's something else that we can get from them, and that's their seed. It's a really nice thing to collect the seed for lots of good reasons. Rather than buying seeds the following year, we can plant our own. If we've got kids, it's really interesting to be able to show them the life cycle of plant and the biology of plants. When you've got a load of seeds, why not get together with a few friends, have a seed swap, a nice social occasion to think about and plan for the year ahead of what you're going to grow. Another great thing about seed swaps is you might be able to get your hands on something really rare or even an old heritage variety and feel that you're doing your bit to grow that one. In order to collect the seed from the fruit, you need to have really ripe fruit, like this tomato, things that are virtually ready to drop off the plant. Good choices are things like beans, peas, aubergines, peppers, but you can try squashes, tomatoes too. Of course, if you're on an allotment or you're sharing your veg patch with somebody else, it's worth putting a sign out so other people know that you're waiting to collect the seeds. Well, the seeds and the squash are all found here in the middle. It's really important that these seeds are cleaned thoroughly. The tomato seeds are really interesting. As you're probably aware, they've got a slimy coating on them. And that coating actually stops the seeds from growing. So to make sure that we get rid of that thoroughly, we need to soak the seeds for quite a few days in water. But once your seeds are completely clean, the most important thing is to dry them really, really thoroughly. Put them in a warm, dark, dry place, like an air and cover, for quite a few weeks. These peas now are dried off, ready for storing. Peas and beans can be stored in envelopes and such like, something breathable. Other plants, the seeds can be stored in little film canisters or little plastic bags like these. Make sure you label and date them before you put them in the fridge. Well, next spring, when you're ready to sow plants for the garden, remember that you can use your very own seeds directly out of your fridge. Remember, seedlings need things like warmth, good water supply and lots of light to get them going. 